can trace my vocation back when I was about six or seven years old. I was already attracted to the sisters in our town. I saw them when I and my mother went shopping in our town. And I said to my mother, Mama, when I grow up, I wanted to be like them. And when we get home, I said again to my mother, when I grow up, I wanted to be like them. And even when I was in the elementary school, when I was grade four and grade six, this wish was still there. And as well as when I was already in high school and college. When I was nine years old, our parish was founded. My mother was very active in our parish. Our parish priest used to visit us open, as well as our neighbors. So I grew up in a religious atmosphere. And when I was big enough, I used to be a catechist every May. I have this great love to Our Lady. And I was a leader in praying the rosary in May and October, the months of Mary. When I came to know the Shunsa Sisters of Mary, I came regularly to their place every week as possible as I could and even to Cabinet Sundays whenever they had Holy Mass at their place. I was even there when they celebrated their 75th anniversary as sisters' family. The Blessed Mother, our dear MTA in the shrine, has attracted me so much as well as the white dresses of the sisters. And later on, when I was living with the sisters in Cebu, I was fascinated with the life of Sister Emilie. For me, I could say that I am lucky. I didn't have the hardship to join the Shunsat sisters. My biological family supported me with my decision, and it was not hard for me to leave my homeland, Philippines. The hardest thing for me was when I was in postulancy, I had to go for an operation and I was really sad because if the result would be bad, then I might not be accepted. But thanks to the Blessed Mother, the result was okay and I could continue my postulancy. And another blow of faith came. I was very sick before incorporation, but I was accepted. The grace from above helped me to accept and continue my journey as a Shunstad Sister of Mary. My love to the Blessed Mother and the closeness of our Father and Founder has helped me a lot through this difficult time, as well as the support of the superiors, the sisters, all the sisters, and all of these are forever imprinted in my heart. I had very nice experiences as Shunstad Sister of Mary. The joy of being one of them, being one of the Shunstad Sisters of Mary, is still there. And I hope and trust that this joy Rejades to others. It is very nice to belong in this blessed family.